We'll, uh, we'll hear from the Canadian Real Estate Association. I believe it's uh, Michael Baroque uh, that uh, will be speaking on your beha on the behalf of the CREA. Thank you yep. very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, and um, thank you for inviting us here today. Um, we were recently meeting with many of you uh, during our annual PAC days, and we've, uh, we've got a, a brief here that I can leave another copy before I leave with a few recommendations. Uh, but I just want to speak... Um, you know, broadly about <clears throat> where we're at in terms of the housing crisis and uh, some of our thoughts on how to find our way out of it. Um, first of all, I think it's really important that people recognize that we are in a housing crisis, that it's a housing crisis that affects every single Canadian uh, right across the housing spectrum. And um, one of the, uh, Steve was talking about uh, home ownership, um, People still desire home ownership. Um, a few years ago, we did a lot of studies of millennials where I think we shattered a lot of myths uh, that uh, millennials were not prepared to live in apartments and eat uh, avocado toast, but wanted uh, to, uh, they aspired to home ownership. And today, what we're seeing is that uh, almost 30% of people who uh, don't own homes uh, believe now that they uh, will never own a home and this is why uh, many are so angry. Um, in terms of what we need to do, I think uh, particularly at the federal level, what we need is leadership. We need thought leadership. We need um, th the, the leadership to uh, convene uh, other levels of government and stakeholders. Uh, we need to do this in a really systematic way uh, so that we can work together on the solutions uh, that are required across uh, levels of government uh, to create the incentives uh, to eliminate impediments uh, and work together so that we can uh, prevent this kind of crisis from happening and again. It's, it's not going to be solved quickly or easily, and, um, and so once we do work through this, which will take many years, uh, we, should, we should create permanent solutions so that this doesn't happen again. Um, one of the strong levers that the federal government has is infrastructure uh, funding and uh, really pleased to see that the government has combined uh, the Minister of Housing with as, as both Minister of Housing and Minister of Infrastructure. Um, you know, the, the program that exists for infrastructure is a very good start and uh, we'd like to see uh, th those projects, uh, you know, be accelerated uh, along with the, the name of the program. Um, we also believe that uh, the immigration system uh, needs to be tweaked so that we have a better matching of uh, bringing in skills uh, for home building. And, um, you know, of course we should be trying to attract the best and the brightest to this country, uh, but we also need to be attracting the people who are going to uh, build homes, and we should, we should be looking at that system and making the changes that are appropriate to, to incentivize uh, these skilled trades to come to Canada. That said, we're never going to hire the 4,500 carpenters that we need every year. Uh, it's just not feasible. And we're going to have to find new innov way, innovative ways to build homes. And again, the federal government is ideally suited uh, to incentivize, to uh, encourage research uh, in this area so that uh, uh, more efficient ways of building homes could be done at scale. And um, similarly, we need innovation in financing so that there is more rent to own, uh, incentives for longer term mortgages with lower rates, um, all kinds of ways that we could be more innovative in financing. And finally, I guess uh, what I would say on behalf of uh, our realtor members is that uh, they are on the ground, 165,000 people on the ground, working with people every day uh, as they aspire to uh, find a roof over their head. And um, as much as we believe in home ownership, we believe rentals are extremely important. Uh, we're seeing in, in the numbers uh, that uh, purpose-built rentals are, are really uh, being built. Uh, but there's still a lot of uh, the wrong kind of inventory being produced. And, um, and so we're very welcoming of initiatives uh, like the removal of the GST on, on rentals uh, because we, we do need more rentals as part of the overall 
uh, housing supply. So with that, I'll uh, look forward to questions later. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bork. 